Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are discussing a Jaguar Health, ticker symbol JAGX, because JAGX stock has skyrocketed in value, but is Jack stock still a good buy now with a SPAC merger coming up? Well, let's look at what stock researchers think of JAGX stock, and I will add my own opinions periodically. Go press the like button right now for more stock news videos like this one. Comment down below what you think of Jack stock. Subscribe to the channel for more stock analysis analysis and stock news and let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. Jaguar Health, also known as JAX stock or J-A-G-X stock, has the only FDA-approved diarrhea drug that is plant-based based on the market, which is known by two names, which are Mitesi and Crophelomer, which are meant for people with HIV and AIDS. Year to date, JAGX stock has gained 53%, but over the trailing six months, JAX stock has gained over 253%. And because there are around 1.2 million people in the United States that need drugs like this, Jaguar Health has a decent amount of potential customers. JAGX stock did put investors at the edge of their seat for a while because JAGX stock was below the $1 threshold to be listed on the NASDAQ, which means it could have been in danger of being delisted. But luckily, back in December, JAX stock went from $0.32 cents to $1.07, and then in January, JAX stock went to $4.47. Then it came back down from its highs to settle between two and three dollars for the time being, waiting for more good news that will pump the stock back up. Overall, Jaguar Health's stock price has skyrocketed 2,062% from its November 16th lows. And the reason for this surge in Jack's stock price was because of the announcement to commercialize their Crow Felomer drug. Another reason for this surge could be because one of Jaguar Health's subsidiaries is in talks to merge with Swiss Growth Forum in a SPAC merger. If this SPAC merger is to take place, Jack's stock could receive a cash payment of up to $10 million with another $20 million for clinical development funding and an equity stake in the new company of up to 49.9%. Now, many stock researchers do not find Jaguar Health's financials appealing, with $9.1 million in yearly revenue and around $23 million in losses. But their revenue has increased around 59% with a 127% increase in their gross product sales since the previous years. However, what the researchers find strange is their subsidiary named Napo merging to raise capital when Jack stock could just issue a share offering. Well, I think because Jax is a penny stock, their offering would not bring them as much money as a SPAC might. But the problem I have is that their Crofelmer drug comes from their Napo subsidiary. So will the new SPAC company have the rights to this medicine, or will Jaguar Health have the rights to it even though the company along with its intellectual property has merged and is no longer majorly owned by Jaguar Health? Analysts also think that Jaguar Health does not have obvious financial direction, which makes a risky penny stock even more speculative. However, I would say that just because a stock is risky, that does not make it a bad investment. But I do agree with the analysts that Jaguar Health's financials need a lot of work and direction would really help. It seems that many investors now are fine with some risk in their portfolios and that fundamentals and current financials can be argued over, but that will not stop what the company is capable of achieving in the future. Similar to the author of this article, I am not advocating for a long-term buy and hold strategy for JAGX stock, especially because it's downtrending right now. But if you want to trade this stock based off of the merger news and other catalysts, then you might want to consider buying JAGX stock. 
If you decide to trade the stock, you will have to have great timing and you will have to hold while the price is dipping before you get that upwards catalyst. Then you will have to take profits at the top. But this strategy is not for the average retail investor, so please always be careful. However, do not get me wrong, there is upside here with major growth potential, which I will talk about in a minute. But due to the risk of losing the rights to their money-making drug through a merger and uncertain financial direction, JAGX stock is certainly not for the faint-hearted. On the bright side, Jaguar Health is about to gain millions of potential customers because of the recent widespread medical disaster, if you catch my drift, which I will elaborate on later. But first, I want to draw your attention to January 6th, which is when Jaguar Health started its toxicology study on dogs to test another one of their drugs to relieve people from having diarrhea from cholera, where the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases is actually aiding Jaguar Health in their study. About 5 million people will need this drug, but it gets better. Well over 88 million people who were infected with the worldwide disease that I alluded to earlier, and the numbers are still coming in, will need Jaguar Health's drugs because 15 percent of those people will have uncomfortable lingering symptoms in which they will need Jaguar Health's technology. So, with 1.2 million people just in the United States with AIDS and HIV need these drugs, another 5 million people with cholera will need these drugs, and over 13.2 million more people worldwide will also need Jaguar Health's medication. Plus, they have even more drugs than the two that I have mentioned in this video, along with another whole business segment in animal health. If you do decide to take the risk of investing into JAGX stock, the big catalyst is the merger which I referred to earlier, which is very big and likely to happen based upon what the SPAC sponsor has said about the merger, and I quote, NAPO, EU, and the post-pandemic recovery equity SPAC are pursuing a direct business combination, which is allowed on the professional segment of AIM Italia, hence making the listing of the proposed SPAC and merger concurrent. On Jaguar Health's end, the major stakeholders are fully on board with the merger, which is something to be excited about, and it gives us the opportunity to trade off of the run-up and growth of JAGX stock until the merger, and then we sell. With this upcoming SPAC merger, its niche market segments, and it having the only FDA-approved plant-based drug for diarrhea, JAGX stock looks good at current prices. But remember to only invest money that you are willing to lose or trade. Like this video right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below if you are investing, trading, or passing on this stock, and I will see all of you in the next YT video.